I'm in my new living room. <laughs> Look what I'm watching. The newest videos on YouTube. <laughs> and, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, well, I've been away for quite some time. It was because of the move and then I got really sick and, well, life happens. <laughs> And that was it. So uh, yesterday I was in a store that's called Action here in the Netherlands in my hometown where I'm living now. And uh, yeah, they have crafting stuff for really cheap. So you, you do have to watch what you buy, of course, if it's a good quality but I did manage to score some things like this uh, brush uh, water aqua brushes put some water and then you don't have to dip it over and over and and I really wanted to have one for a long time I'm preparing for my new book uh, I made a new printable uh, uh, also, but I'm changing it, so I'm making it better. And this is with the look, it's a little bit full, like full. So I'm preparing for that. And this is, uh, uh, well, I'm making paper doilies a little bit grungy and I'm tea staining papers and all sorts of things. And so this, uh, you can see the marks also. So I'll, I'll be, be using that, of course. But um, I don't know if the, if the lighting, I didn't put an extra light because I'm just in my living room and I'm taking over the living room because my craft room is not ready. Our bedrooms are ready, the kitchen not ready, living room not ready, even the flooring is not ready. I have a carpet, two carpets, and everything is not ready in my home. But I had to take a break from the move and everything. And guess what? I'm living really close by a thrift store. What do you think about that? So I will show you that also. But this is my new printable. I'm preparing this. So it's called my vintage junk journal. And I made it with um, my um, mono prints. And then the back side, it's not really ready because here this is tape. <laughs> so I'm trying, I have uh, multiple layers so I can put something in between like lace or uh, organza. I, I found some organza fabric. So I will show you the printables really quick because um, I'm still improving them. So this is not the final one but this is when I enlarged it so I changed it so that you can fold it double and now I've changed it already so you don't see a white line and I put a big rose over here so I'm constantly changing it because when I started it looked like this <laughs> So this is the back side, this is the front side. And this is a book from a book I made for my eldest uh, sister, Karin. And she has this book, but I uh, then uh, copied the book and some of the pages I couldn't let go of. <laughs> so now I'm using it for this uh, new printable. And I also printed it out onto recycled cardstock, and then it looks more vintage. And also, I've changed this this um, size, and over here, um, 
I put uh, a border, so I'm constantly trying to improve my printables. So, and here also the colors very different. So, like this, this is more brown, and this is more, yeah, fall. I wanted to make something for the fall. So, this is the front and the back cover, but now there's no ga gap here. And I also made this. This also you can um, enlarge it for a cover, but now it looks like that. And I also have this. And here I made I printed it out small. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Here I printed it out small, so you can make a smaller book. And here I didn't include the right one right side one but well i made this one oh i just layered it with my uh with my mono prints that i made and then found this flower oh i really love this page and this is also a mono print but because i'm printing printing it onto recycled cardstock then you get more vintage uh, look so also did a few lines paper i hope you can see it because it's not really light and i made two covers so this is really also for uh, the fall <laughs> with the mushrooms and the lace and this is from my mono print this on the, looks like a tree don't you think on the side and then the paper for um yeah with a mushroom and then i tried another one that you could use for uh, the front cover and there it says vintage notebook from and then you can write with white pen your name or and um, still some flowers <laughs> couldn't resist f a few flowers so that i've also uh, to oh yeah and here i did it like this so you can uh yeah you can do something with that and i also yeah i changed that already now so that the both both of the sides are together but um here you can see i made this onto here and onto there so you can connect them with a coptic stitch or something like that this is my newest um idea and then I printed it out large, so you can use that as a cover. And also printed it onto white paper, so you can see it a little bit better. So poppy flower and the grungy, vintagey <laughs> stuff. And here's um, this page, so you can see it. I used a mono print so i will put this in my etsy shop and then i as soon as i'm done um because it's taking me so long i thought i will make a video so so that you know that i'm still here <laughs> and this one i enlarged it so you can see my design and my idea what do you think I, this really did <laughs> it's uh, the stem is beneath but well i left it like this i thought well that's not not so bad also this is also a monoprint let's see if i can do this with one hand they're sticking together i see yeah i also um made this large a little bit pinkish and then um, you could also um, print this out onto yeah darker uh, for instance uh, a little bit vintage color cardstock and then it will be a little bit more brown but what i like about this you can see the brush strokes and um yeah 
I really enjoy seeing that. And this is also, um, you could make this into a cover and then the middle piece for spine, for instance, or a page, because there are lines. But what I want to do is make um, in, uh, not Photoshop, because I don't have Photoshop. This I changed also a little bit more, this color. That's also in my in the other papers, and I really love that because I did draw a rose and then I enlarged that rose and use it for the background. That's what I did. So, and that's it. And I also want to show you this book. This is really so inspired by Shannon Green because uh, of the layers. Only I did love, like the the inside better than the outside. <laughs> this is more vibrant, and then I choose uh, to make papers that has the same technique. So uh, this is the the honeycomb that you see. That is from a cardboard box when I was moving, and I saw. Um, sort of the inside of the box had a protection uh, extra protection so that that the stuff that's inside the box doesn't wiggle around and then i peeled it off i will show you in another video i don't know where i <laughs> left it and then i peel it off because i saw in between the honeycomb uh, thingies and then i used that so I did do that technique, but this is what happened. I have sprays and I sprayed it, I sprayed it, and then I put another layer and then I put another layer and then the white and the black, and then it pops. So that's what I learned from Shannon Green. And <clears throat> because I didn't never, yeah, I paint all my life and I do, they do various uh, things but in that order i never I, do, I don't think i ever tried it like that but then i uh, put some uh, mud parts over it and then what happened is that the you can see the back is a little bit more pink you see that those speckles they disappeared because of the mud parts uh, and not because of the mud parts, I'm not explaining it good. It was uh, because my brush was a little bit wet, so I didn't squeeze out every drop of water. And then it reacted together with the mud parts, and then it created this. <laughs> so I like it, but um, yeah, almost like it's muddy now. You see it? And you don't see the speckles from the spray as much. Here you can see it. But well, I wanted to show this one too. Because I did do a combination of papers I made with can Canva. That's called Canva. It's a program where you can make your own designs. And I did do a fun design for... Um, in between so and a little bit painty papers uh, in between so i really like this one i'm debating whether i'm putting this in my etsy shop because uh, excuse me my etsy shop is open but it's not um it wasn't really open i did pause it if i'm making any sense if, if you can understand what i'm talking about but uh, i put it on hold because i didn't i wasn't satisfied with the way my etsy shop was looking and the pictures and now i'm improving everything so yeah i really want to make it work so you never know and I'm trying. I want to have fun and try to uh, share my art, share what I'm making. So 
but well life isn't so cheap so <laughs> I do try to sell some of my things because I want to keep making uh, stuff so <laughs> and yeah a little bit purple and then with the purple <laughs> I really like this one, a little bit empty also to journal. And this is the middle, <laughs> nice and bold with the pink. So, and my dog is, and my cat is sleeping uh, next to me. I want to show, look at that. They are always sleeping together, sometimes on top of each other. So <laughs> that's so sweet, don't you think? And they, they are sleeping, so. <laughs> yeah, this is also watercolor I did with blue. And I really love these pages. I don't know if you can see it. The blue, yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> it's also. And then the, the beginning of the signatures. Yeah, this is. I did do. Um, oh no! Well, it's it's escaping my memories. Going <laughs> fast. This I really love. This so bold. So my um, taste is really. Or I'm making things stuff like this, really bold and colory. And then I have uh, this, um, I, I want to make it, oh really, wait, I did include this, so maybe for the closure, what do you think, this really came out really good, so just onto um, paper from my local shop, so I made this and Maybe because the flap of this, this is uh, an uh, envelope and I also have to glue this so that it's sturdy and I want to make it a little bit more, yeah, I want to change uh, this because, yeah, it's not so bright and the inside is, I love the inside, look at this, this pops so and here I just um, took took a cardboard box to the side and made some uh, th these uh, black lines. And this is from the honeycomb thing, what I just told you. So first, because the envelope is already yellow, it's a shipping envelope. Uh, yeah, these colors came out really good because this is the original color. And here it's also a little bit muddy, but here the envelope tore the flap, so. And here you can see still <laughs> that it was from a town <laughs> that I got in the mail, <laughs> this envelope, once upon a time. And it was in my stash. Yeah, I want to, really want to show you all my new craft room, but now it's not possible, it's, it's a dump. <laughs> Well, I keep all those uh, stuff that I didn't um, uh, unpack yet. And yeah, I wanted to also wanted to say something about my taste. I have this vintage taste. So now I'm working on my fall uh, journal and it's really vintagey and I love it. And then all of a sudden I have this inspiration and then I want to use all those colors and then I'm making something like this. Woo! <laughs> so that's really my, uh, yeah, I don't know why, but I, uh, all of a sudden it, uh, it dawned on me that I <laughs> really am so different sometimes. Well, uh, I will leave it at this and um, yeah, I could show you a little haul because <laughs> I went to the shop. I did buy this. This was uh, 39 cents at the Vibra, Vibra, the Vibra. 
and uh, they ha this is for cake to put on, uh, under your cake so that it's fancy but I am going to use it as a paper doily I don't know in between the pages uh, I think or onto a page or something like that also found a paper cutter at the action and that was only um, uh, almost four euros also found this glue so I hope uh, I will have to um, yeah see what I think about this so have to use it and then I will tell you what I glue pen I love glue pens because they are yeah a little bit more um, uh, accurate for me so I yeah, also bought um, uh, elastic band but this is a little bit small so I I'm th I'm thinking about braiding this or something or or uh, double it double it up or make um, yeah I don't know yet but uh, when I when I know I will definitely show you also found this this is also for my full um, uh, journal that I'm making um, and also yeah I'm making a few books at the same time where are those things wait a minute I have a, a, a bag next to me because I don't oh yeah I see those the, uh, those are spray uh, paints acrylic spray paint that I used for that book so that journal or art artsy thingy so I don't know this is really um, I also ha uh, have leaves but I can't find it I don't know where I put them here, over here but, uh, I see it now so I am also wanted to use this what do you think you guys girls <laughs> and guys I really love it and then in a the combination with this uh, fabric it was so cheap and it's really good quality fabric so I don't know yeah I will leave it at this and I will keep you updated about all my books and what the end result will be um, for my new printable and I really am curious what you uh, think about my printable because I really love the colors myself and also love that my vintage junk journal this this is really a nice title don't you think <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm really proud of this one because it is turning out the way that I love it the colors it's really vintagey and I also want to make a series of videos where you can see how I make um, I'm making these things and also still working on my Alice in Wonderland for my youngest daughter and that was put on hold because uh, of the move and then I got sick and well she's really understanding about that and um, I have the most beautiful uh, three daughters and most sweet daughters that you can imagine so <laughs> I'm really blessed uh, with uh, my children so uh, yeah I will keep you updated and then in the next video I want to make a sort of a tutorial again where you can see how I make uh, I'm making this stuff but now you're really a little bit more updated also I'm making a video about uh, what my town looks like my the city I mean where I live now and uh, we'll take you on a little tour so that will be fun <laughs> 
So, well, this is it. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. And I'm so happy to be back. I'm really excited. So let's work and let's play and let's make some fun. Okay. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye. Love to be back. Doo-doo. <laughs> Doo-doo.